Hello. Walk of faith. Let's talk. Today's title is Watch Your Mouth. Yeah, I mean it. Watch your mouth. Very important. In the book of Proverbs, it says that life and death are in the power of the tongue tongue in the power of the tongue in the power of your speech in uh, another video i mentioned that give me about two to five minutes talk to anybody i know what they've been hearing what messages what kind of spiritual food they've been feeding their spirit why because you can't run from it out of the abundance of the heart the mouth speaks right so watch your mouth because your confession is very powerful okay what we say is very powerful almighty god created everything by speaking by speaking and if you have watched the other video when we talk about us being spirit, soul and body. So we are a spirit, we are a speaking spirit. Wow. We are a speaking spirit. Can you, can you imagine how much powerful we are? How much power is in our words? <clears throat> Especially when we mix our words with faith and the faith principles that we have been talking about is very powerful Jesus said speak to the mountain speak actually to this mountain that means he pointed to a particular mountain and he said that he said speak to the mountain and cast it into the sea and you believe it in your heart and you do not doubt that's how powerful the words are okay just now I was on the way sending the kids to school and uh, yeah we did our morning confession we said this is the day the Lord has made we shall rejoice and be glad in it thank you Lord for loving us thank you for protecting us thank you for healing us no weapon formed against us shall prosper we are the seed of Abraham Greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. The power of words. So watch your mouth. Watch your mouth. Speak life to yourself. Speak life to others. Love your neighbor as yourself. That means how to love your neighbor if you don't love yourself. Watch your mouth. It's very, very vital in life, especially for us believers. Yeah? That's why I was saying in the other video, many people want to experience miracles and miracles, God to touch them, but they keep on saying the wrong things. Every day saying the wrong things. Every day talk of unbelief. Every day talk unbelief. You know, I don't think this can happen. You know, the economy is not good. Yeah, property market is not good. Okay, you keep on confessing that and see what happens. You become, how to say, it's a self declaring prophecy. That's what you're declaring, that's what you're prophesying, that's what you get. According to your faith, it shall be done unto you. Yeah, but you know, the market is not so good. I know. But let me testify. I had, uh, with my wife, we had a property for rent. Very nice place. Beautiful place. And uh, we had a very nice tenant. She really takes care of it. You know, uh, any defects you report, and they come and repair. She takes care of everything. And... Uh, okay. 
and what happened is uh, sorry there is a car which I don't know what the person trying to do my mind so the person has to go the tenant has to go all right and then uh, So the place was empty for like two weeks and then a property negotiator, an agent brought one guy, the first guy who came to see, all right, on that same day, right, he confirmed. And not only confirmed, he signed an agreement, tenancy agreement for two years with an option to renew for the third year. Yeah? The first guy who walked in, right? Confirmed the deal. So, what does this mean? Well, we expected it. You know, I anointed the place with oil. You know? And uh, I just know that God will bless it. I just know that God will bless it. Because he is a good God. And he is a rewarder. He is a rewarder. Rewarder. Did I say correct? Rewarder. Rewarder. He rewards. He rewards us with benefits. The Bible says, Forget not his benefits. Bless the Lord of my soul and forget not his benefits or his blessings. Count his blessings. Count his blessings. Count it aloud. Thank you, Lord. I thank you for my wife, Lord. I thank you for my children. I thank you for my parents. I thank you for my family. I thank you for this debt-free car which is paid for. I thank you, Lord. What am I doing? I'm confessing good things. I'm counting my blessings. And it's like a seed. I'm sowing the seed of the blessing. Guess what is my harvest? Even more? blessings hallelujah you apply the word of God you cannot fail amen so watch your mouth watch your mouth be conscious of it some of the answers we give people is automatic that's what we have been doing all our life but be conscious, pause for a while. Don't simply give an automatic auto response. It might not be the right response. Watch what you put in your statuses. You know, whether it's in your Facebook status, on your WhatsApp status. Because sometimes you put a status depending on the situation you are at that moment and you forgot about it. But everybody who is reading through your settings or whatever you call it through your profile, they can see. Huh? I'm going through this, I'm going through that. Why? Declare what are you believing for? Where are you putting your faith at? Amen? So watch your mouth. Watch your mouth. What you say. Because words are powerful. In the beginning was the Word. The Word. The Word. And the Word was with God. And the Word was God. The Word. Words are so powerful. Even God calls himself the word. Okay, but we take it for granted. All right. So, some of the things I repeat from one video to another to remind myself and to remind you guys. I'm so glad early morning when my wife wake up, she will play a powerful sermon. The moment we open our eyes, she'll play something. 
whether it's on a phone or on a laptop. So faith words start coming in already into our spirit and early in the morning. Amen. Watch your mouth and be blessed. All right. And be joyful. It's a beautiful day. It's a beautiful day. It's a beautiful day. It's a beautiful day. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. So subscribe to my Uncensored Truth channel. You know, sometimes th things that I say could be radical. Uh, well, some of the things are from experience, what we have gone through. Uh, so, well, use your discernment. If you don't believe what I say, you know, or how I interpret certain things, and if you've been doing things in a different way, then check the fruits. If you've got your fruits right, then Jesus said the tree is right. How do you know the tree is good or bad? By the fruit. That's what Jesus said. How do you know this tree is good or bad? By the fruit. So whatever you are believing and applying, see your harvest. If your harvest and the fruit is right, continue doing. Don't even watch these videos. Don't waste your time and my time. <laughs> yeah? But if something is not working, give it a shot, man. Give it a shot. Listen with an open mind. Don't judge my accent. Don't judge my English. Amen. So subscribe and share if you are blessed. God loves you. We love you. Bye bye.